The Department of Pathology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai is one of the busiest and largest departments of pathology in the country. We do over 8.5 million tests a year, which means that on a routine day we do over 23,000 analyses that includes biopsy, cytology and sophisticated molecular assays. We are at the core of patient management and critical in the context of individualized medicine. In several critical clinical services, we have a legacy in the history of this institution. For example, in inflammatory bowel disease, Dr. Kronz, who was the director of the gastrointestinal clinical services, produced the definition of this disease that our Department of Pathology has had a major interest and has been both pioneering and leading in the context of how to analyze that, not only from the point of a structural anatomy, but also from the point of immunology and now also molecular biology and genetics. Crohn's disease was a uh, disorder that was almost unknown uh, prior to the 1930s. The research that has led uh, to those discoveries has had major impact on understanding physiology, immunology, and the genetics of the disease as well as environmental factors that go into it. So it has had an enormous impact on, on many levels. With the advent of new pharmaceutical agents, new therapeutics, the variety and number of side effects that they um, bring with them will require pathologists to be ever more cognizant uh, of the fact that these side, side effects exist and that they may mimic other uh, diseases. So pathologists are increasingly called upon to recognize side effects of uh, drugs that are being introduced uh, on a regular basis. We would like to establish a new paradigm in healthcare. Our vision is to provide each patient a better chance of being cured by defining their disease and optimizing their treatment. In order to achieve such vision, our mission is to manage the knowledge that emanates from the integration of clinical laboratory services, cytology, surgical and molecular pathology to better guide patient care in order to ensure that the implementation of this new paradigm will be able to produce an optimization on treatment efficacy and a superior clinical outcome for each patient. What makes Mount Sinai very unique is that we're doing a lot of new things uh, that will eventually change the way medicine is practiced. One of the challenges in a lot of laboratories is that we have errors in labeling our specimens. One of the interventions has been distribution of these hang tag cards um, to our phlebotomists and the people who are collecting our specimens. The residents are involved in collecting data both before this intervention went out um, and afterwards to see if that's been effective. We have several mobile apps for uh, smartphones that we use to help our doctors know, for example, what is the number of the blood bank. If they want to send a tube to the blood bank, it tells them that you know you need a pink tube. So all of that information, which is hard for people to remember, is now available for you in a simple mobile app. The residency training program at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai is a combined anatomic and clinical pathology residency program. We have structured our program and our department to provide a broad scope of the opportunities which exist in the field of pathology. Not only that, but in the context also of opportunities for innovation, for partnership with pharmaceutical, biopharmaceutical companies and industry, and exposes the residents to many dimensions which are not traditionally covered in, tra in more traditional training programs. This is an institution where you're given a myriad of opportunities. Mount Sinai has one of the largest surgical pathology specimen volume in the whole country, which means that we get a lot of opportunities to see bread and butter cases, as well as some of the really interesting and rare zebra type cases. And that gives us opportunities to write these cases up as case reports, case series, and we also have a large database to do large-scale research projects from. An important example of integration, not only inside of our department, but also with the institution, represents what we have been able to achieve together with the Department of Dermatology. At Mount Sinai, we have a very active oncological science division. 
Uh, there are many PhDs and MDs who are involved in full-time basic science research. Our lab is actively involved in many aspects in the research, primarily in malignant melanoma. We're attacking melanoma from all angles. For the first time ever, we actually have multiple avenues for tr treating it, both the new biological response agents and the use of immune modifiers. And our lab is studying both those aspects to try to help uh, treat this disease. There are challenges facing molecular pathology. The laboratory fee schedule for molecular pathology has been revised this past year and will result in reduced revenues for molecular diagnostic laboratories. We view this challenge as an opportunity to develop innovative, efficient, multiplex assays that will allow us to test patient samples at low cost and high throughput. It's our objective to further define what is the cell and what are the mechanisms that can be at the causation of disease process to better produce early diagnostic paradigms. We believe that part of the future of pathology is going to be the integration of this knowledge to produce new mathematical formulation algorithms, if you wish, that are going to give us access to this kind of precise medicine that is so much needed. By doing that, we believe that we are going to change not only the paradigm of pathology, but the paradigm of medicine.